Hey guys, it's Justin here from Jack Production Studios, and welcome back to their LEGO Custom Showcase video. So this showcase is for my LEGO Star Wars Blast Jedi Rey. This is Rey in her Resistance outfit. I do know that she um, does wear another outfit in the film. It's her Jedi training outfit. I'll have a custom figure of that probably later on in the year, closer towards Last Jedi, maybe afterwards. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so now onto the accessories. Starting off with Rey's staff here. I uh, took a toothpick and sculpted on all the details over this with Procreate, then I added on that brown strap right there, painted it all up, and I think it turned out pretty good, definitely accurate to her staff. I tried to get all the key details to at least make it resemble it, and yeah. So now to the next accessory, which is the Skywalker family lightsaber. This is quite simple. I took a lightsaber hilt, a little lightsaber hilt, and I sanded it down a lot, then I added on metal to get the shape of it and then I sculpted on the metallic bits I'm trying to get this to focus uh, the metallic bits at the top and then a gold bit on the side and then the red bit on the top were all sculpted and then painted all up and um, yeah now the next one is Ray's blaster this one is just a brick arms gun and I painted in the little square right there with black and it's on both sides it's really accurate and I love this gun so that's why I used it I tried to make one, but it didn't really turn out nearly as well as that did. And then finally, the last um, accessory is her little bag right here. And this I made entirely out of fabric and Procreate. I used Procreate as a base, then put all the fabric over it, added um, like the strap there to have it closed, and then have the little um, Procreate bit there, painted black, painted all up, and I definitely like it. So yeah, now on to the minifigure. Alright, so now onto the minifigure. Starting off at the top, I used Lego's Ray face and Ray hair. Uh, for the hair, I just simply sculpted on uh, strands of hair on the sides there, because she has that in the film, and then I painted it all up in a little bit of a darker brown. It's showing up a bit darker on camera, but I think I got it accurate today's to this hair color. And then onto the torso and the arms, I used flush as base for both, and for the torso, I painted on the white gray shirt there. Now on the black lines for detailing, and then the uh, strap right there for her holster. And then for the arms, I painted on the dark gray sleeves, added on the, all those black lines there for detailing. And I did that on both sides as well. And then uh, for the jacket, I used my own fabric, cut that out, and painted it dark gray, painted on the black lines there. I wanted to make sure I got the fabric to wrap around the shoulder because um, that just looked better than adding on a bit of fabric here and here and then some in the back. So I did that. And um, yeah, so now on to the minifigure's legs and her holster there. I'll move the arm out of the way so you guys can see that. So for the holster, I just used fabric, cut that out. I wanted to get it uh, to be size accurate because I tried to make it functional, but that just made it take up the entire length of the leg, which I really didn't want. So cut off fabric, added on the uh, silver dot right there, and painted all in brown. And the straps go all the way around the leg onto the back. And yeah, so her pants were made with dark tan paint. And then I outlined those in black. And then her boots were in dark brown paint right there. And I think that's really it for the minifigure. There's not too much going on at the bottom part or the back of the minifigure. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this is definitely one of my uh, best customs today, probably my best on YouTube. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I did make Wonder Woman recently, and I've also shown her in, I think, an update or two. And, yeah, I'll have a video out for her and Steve Trevor later on. I said the finish up Steve Trevor. But anyway, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the figure. I definitely loved making her. She's my favorite character in Star Wars. And it was really fun using some different um, things I haven't done before, like sculpting and using fabric quite a lot. And um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.